Bandeham Shigura Shiata Prakamalam Shigurun Vaishnavam Sha Shirupam Sa Grajatam Sa Gana Ragana Tam Bitam Tam Sajivam Sadvaitam Sabadutam Parijana Saitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Shirana Krishna Paran Sahagana Lalita Shivishikam Bitam Sha Om Ajnana Timarandasya Yanajana Shalakaya Chakshuran Militam Yana Tasmai Shigurave Nama Gurva Bistam Supurakam Guraganara Sisha Sambushitam Chintya Chintya Samasta Vedranipanam Shirupa Patanagam Govinda Bidam Ujjalam Bharatanam Bhaktian Vitam Sundaram Mande Vishwa Gurun Shah Divyat Bhagavat Prem Nawe Bijapranam Devam Divyat Tanam Suchandavaranam Balarka Chelanshitam Sandra Nanda Puram Sadeka Varanam Vairagya Vidyam Bodhim Sri Siddhantanidim Subhakti Lasitam Sarasatanam Baram Manditam Shubhanam Mareka Sharanam Nyashishwara Shidanam Bansha Kopata Rubyascha Kripa Sindhu Bhyavicha Patitanam Pavanibyo Vaishnavibyo Namonama Namo Mahamaranyaya Krishna Prema Pradayate Krishnaya Krishna Chaitanya Namane Gora Tavishenama. So we're hearing from Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita by Srila Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami. Translation and commentary by Srila Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. This is uh, the Antya Leela Chapter 2, The Chastisement of Junior Haridas. Junior Haridas is also called Jyota Haridas, which means Junior Haridas. Bandeham Shigura Shiata Parakamalam Shigurun Vaishnavam Sha Shirupam Sagrajatam Sahagana Ragana Tambitam Tam Sajivam Sadvaitam Sabadutam Parijana Saitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Shirana Krishna Paran Sahagana Lalita Shivishikam Sha I offer my respectful obeisances unto the lotus feet of my spiritual master and of all the other preceptors on the path of devotional service, I offer my respectful obeisances unto all the Vaishnavas and unto the six Goswamis, including Srila Rupa Goswami, Srila Sanatana Goswami, Raghunath Das Goswami, Jiva Goswami, and their associates. I offer my respectful obeisances unto Sri Advaitacharya Prabhu, Sri Nityananda Prabhu, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, and all his devotees headed by Sri Vastakar. I, I then offer my respectful obeisances unto the lotus feet of Lord Krishna, Srimati Radharani, and all the gopis headed by Lalita and Vishaka. Jaya Jaya Sri Chaitanya Jaya Nityananda Jaya Dvaita Chandra Jaya Gaurabhakta Vrinda All glories to Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, all glories to Sri Nityananda Prabhu, all glories to Sri Advaita Charya, and all glories to all the devotees of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Sarva loku darite gora avatar, nishtarera hetu tara, tribida prakar. In his incarnation as Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Sri Krishna decided to deliver all the living beings in the three worlds from Brahma Loka down to Patala Loka. He caused their deliverance in three ways. Sakatar shanara jogya bhakta jive. Avesha Kuraye Kahan Kahan Avirbhave. The Lord delivered the fallen, fallen souls in some places by meeting them directly, in other places by empowering a pure devotee, and in still other places by appearing before someone himself. So sak Sakshad is directly. When Mahaprabhu is traveling, for instance, in South India, he meets with persons. He asks them to chant the holy name. They become inspired, and they also spread Mahaprabhu's uh, mercy to everyone else, whoever comes in contact with them. So that's Saksha. Then there's Abhisesh, uh, pardon me. Um, there's Shaktavesh. That Shaktavesh is if Mahaprabhu empowers somebody, like. Srila Sridharmar said that that Srila Prabhupada, Bhaktivedanta Swami, was, uh, he said, what he did is not possible for an ordinary person, for a human being to do. Therefore, we can see 
that he was directly uh, empowered by the Lord. And then the other form, the third form is, is Avir Bab, when personally, the Lord personally appears to someone or before someone. And not everyone else can see that. For instance, there's four places of Mahaprabhu's Avir Bab feature, of his appearance feature. That's wherever Nityananda Prabhu is dancing, where, uh, wherever uh, Mother Sachi is offering uh, food to Nimai, then there's also in Sriva Sangam, and where Raghava Pandit is, is offering worship to the deities. Apart from that, Mahaprabhu also <coughs> appears in its Avirbhav feature to other individuals and to fortunate devotees who can see him. So, Sakshat Darshane Praya Sab Nishtari La Nakula Brahmacharya Nikula Brahmacharya Deha Avishtahoila Pradyumna Shringananda Age Koila Abhirvab Loka Nishtariva E Ishwara Swabhav Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu delivered almost all the fallen souls by directly meeting them. He delivered others by entering the bodies of great devotees such as Nikula Brahmachari and he delivered still others by appearing before them. It's in the case of Nishringananda Brahmachari, I shall, delive, I shall deliver the fallen souls. This statement characterizes the, uh, the, the mood of the Lord. Or okay. this statement characterizes the Supreme Personality of God. The Lord has always manifested his Abhirbhav feature in the following four places, the house of Srimati Sachi Mata, uh, wherever Nityananda Prabhu danced in ecstasy, the house of Srivas, where Kirtan was performed, and the house of Raghava Pandit. Lord Chaitanya himself appeared in these four places. Sakat Darshane Sab Jagat Tarila Ekbar Jaydekila Se Kritartahoila. When Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was personally present, anyone in the world who met him, even once, was fully satisfied and became spiritually advanced. Godadeshar Bhaktagan Pratyaba Asiya Puna Godadeshe Jai Prabhure Miliya. Every year devotees from Bengal would go to Jagannath Puri to meet Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And after the meeting, they would return to Bengal. Aranana Desher Lok Ashi Jagana Chaitanya Charana Deki Hoila Kritarta. Similarly, people who went to Jagannath Puri from various provinces of India were fully satisfied after seeing the lotus feet of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Sapta dvipera lok, sapta dvipera lok, aranabakanda bhashi, deva gandharvi, gandharva kinara manusha beshayasi. People from all over the universe, including the seven islands, the nine khandas, the planets of the demigods, Kandarva Loka and Kinara Loka, would go there in the form of human beings. People from all over the universe, including the seven islands, the nine Khandas, the planets of the demigods, Kandarva Loka and Kinara Loka, would go there in the form of human beings. Prabhure Dekia Jai Vaishnava Hoya Krishna Bole Nache Sab Prema Vista Hoya Having seen the Lord, they all became Vaishnavas. Thus, in ecstatic love of Godhead, they chanted the Hare Krishna mantra and danced. Emata Darshane Tri Jagat Nishtariya Emata Darshana E mata darshane tri jagat nishtari jake ho ashite nare aneka samsari. Thus, by direct meetings, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu delivered the three worlds. 
Some people, however, were entangled in material activities and could not go. The Sabatarite Prabhu say Sabdeshe Jogya Bhakta Jiva Dehe Korana Abeshe to deliver people in, in regions throughout the universe who could not meet him. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu personally entered the bodies of pure devotees. Say Jive Nija Bhakti Korana Prakashe Taharadarshane Vaishnava Hoy Sarvadeshe Thus he empowered living beings as pure devotees by manifesting in them so much of his own devotion that people in all other countries became devotees by seeing them. It's stated in the Chaitanya Charitamrita, Kali Kaler Dharma Krishna Nama Sankirtan Krishna Shakti Bina Nahe Tara Prabhartan. Unless one is empowered by the Lord, by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, one cannot spread the holy name of the Hare Krishna Ma Mantra throughout the world. Persons who do so are empowered. Therefore, they are sometimes called Aveshavatars or empowered incarnations, for they are endowed with the power of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Emata Veshe Tarila Tribhuvan Godaj Jaiche Vesha Koridig Darshan. In this way, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu delivered the three worlds, not only by his personal presence, but also by empowering others. I shall briefly describe how he empowered a living being in Bengal. Ambuya mulake hoi nakula brahmachari parama vaishnavate ho bora adhikari. In Ambuya Maluk, there was a person named Nakula Brahmachari who was a perfectly pure devotee, greatly advanced in devotional service. Srila Bhakti Manot Thakur says that Ambuya Mulaka is the present Ambika city in the Vardaman district in West Bengal. Formerly during the Muslim regime it was known as Ambuya Mulak. In this, in this city there is a neighborhood called Pariganja and that is where Nikula Brahmachari used to live. Godade Sherlok Nishtarite Manahoila Nakula Ridaye Prabhu Avesha Korila. Desiring to deliver all the people of Bengal, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu entered the heart of Nakula Brahmachari. Grahagrasta Pray Nakula Premavishta Hoya Hashikande Nachigai Unmata Haya. Nakula Brahmachari became exactly like a man haunted by a ghost. Thus he sometimes laughed, sometimes cried, sometimes danced and sometimes chanted like a madman. Ashrukampa Stamba Shveda Satvika Bikar Nirantara Preme Nritya Sagana Hunkar. He continuously exhibited bodily transformations of, of love. Thus, he continuously exhibited bodily transformations of transcendental love. Thus, he cried, trembled, became stunned, perspired, danced in love of God, and remains, made sounds like those of a cloud. Ganta Hunkar cried out, Taichi Gora Kanti Taichi Sada Prima Vesh Tahadaki Bari Aishi Sarba Godadesh. His body shone with the same luster as that of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, and he showed the same absorption and ecstatic love of Godhead. People came from all provinces of Bengal to see these symptoms. Jarideke tare kohe kaha krishna nam taharadarshane lok hoya premodam. He advised whomever he met to chant the holy names, Hare Krishna. Thus, upon seeing him, people were overwhelmed with love of Godhead. Chaitanya Vesha hoi nakulera dehe shuni shivananda aila. Koriya Sandihi. When Shivananda Sen heard that Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu had entered the body of Nikula Brahmachari, he went there with doubts in his mind. Parika Korite Tara Jabe Icha Hoila Bahire Rahiya Tabe Bichar Korila. Desiring to test the authenticity of Nikula Brahmachari, he stayed outside thinking as follows. 
अपने बलन मोरे इह जरे जानी अमार इष्ट मंत्र जाने को है न अपनी तबे जाने इहते होए चैतन्य बेशे इत चिंति शिवनंद रोहिल दुर्देशे If Nikula Brahmachari personally calls me and knows my worshipable ma- mantra, then I shall understand that he is inspired by the presence of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Thinking in this way, he stayed some distance apart. Asangya lokera gata keho aise jai, lokera sangate keho darshana napai. There was a large crowd of people, some coming and some going. Indeed, some people in the great crowd could not even see Nikula Brahmachari. Aveshe Brahmachari kohe Shivananda achedure janadui chari jaha bolaha tahare. In his, in his inspired state, Nikula Brahmachari said, Shivananda Sen is staying some distance away, two to four of you, go call him. Charidiki dialogue Shivananda Boli, Shivananda Kon Tomai Bolaya Brahmachari. Thus people began running here and there, calling in all directions. Shivananda, whoever is Shivananda, please come. Nikola Brahmachari is calling you. Shuni Shivananda Sen Taha Shigraila Namaskara Kore Tara Nikate Basila. Hearing these calls, Shivananda Sen quickly went there, offered obeisances to Nikula Brahmachari, and sat down near him. Brahmachari Boli Tumi Korila Samshai Ekmana Hoya Shuna Tahara Nishai. Nikula Brahmachari said, I know that you are doubtful. Now please hear this evidence with great, at- with great attention. Goragopa go- 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 mantra tomara chariyakar abhishvasa chara jai koriyacha antar. You are chanting the Gopal mantra composed of four syllables. Now please give up the doubts that have uh, resided within you. Srila Bhakti, no, Bhakti Vinod Thakur explains the Gorgopa mantra in his Amrita Pravaha Bhasha. Worshippers of Sri Gaurasundar accept the four syllables, Goranga, as the Gora mantra, but pure worshippers of Radha and Krishna accept the four syllables, Radha Krishna, as the Gorgopa mantra. However, Vaishnavas consider Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu non different from Radha Krishna, Sri Krishna Chaitanya, Radha Krishna Nahiyanya. Therefore, one who claims the mantra Goranga and one who one who, therefore one who chants the mantra Goranga and one who chants the, the names of Radha and Krishna are on the same level. Tabe Shivanandar Mane Prapti Hoila Aneka Samana Kori Bahu Bhakti Koila Shivananda Sen thereupon developed full confidence in his mind that Nikula Brahmachari was filled with the presence of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Shivananda Sen then offered him res- respect and devotional service. Emata Mahaprabhu Chait Emata Mahaprabhu Achindya Prabhav in this way, one should understand the inconceivable potencies of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Now please hear how his appearance, Abhirbhav, takes place. Sachira Mandire Ara Nityananda Nartane Shribas Kirtane Ara Raghavabhavane Echari Thai Prabhuvar Sada Abhirbhav Prema Krishna Hoi Prabhura Sahaja Swabhav. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu always appeared in four places in the household temple of Mother Sachi, in the place where Sri Nityananda Prabhu danced, in the place of Srivas Pandit 
during, during congregational chanting and in the house of Raghava Pandit. He appeared because of his attractions to the love of his devotees. That is his natural characteristic. Shinganandarage abir bhutahoya bojana korila taha shuna manadiya. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu appeared before Nishringananda Brahmachari and ate his offerings. Please hear about this with attention. Shivanandar Bhagina Shrikanta Senanam Prabhura Kripate Teho Bara Bhagavan. Shivananda Sen had a nephew had a nephew named Shrikant Sen who by the grace of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was extremely fortunate. Teho Pratama Ekeshwar Prabhu Deki Bari Aila Utkanta Antar. One year Shivananda Sen came alone to Jagannath Puri in great eagerness to see the Lord. Mahaprabhu Tari Deki Bora Kripa Koila Mashadui Teho Prabhura Nikate Rohila Sing Sri Khan Sen. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu bestowed causeless mercy upon him. Sri Khan Sen stayed away, uh, pardon me, Sri Khan, Shri, uh, Sing Sri Khan Sen, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu bestowed causeless mercy upon him. Sri Khan Sen stayed near Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu for about two months at Jagannath Puri. Tabe Prabhu Tariyagya Khoila Gode Jaite Bhaktagane Nishedila Edake Asite. When he was about to return to Bengal, the Lord told him, Forbid the devotees of Bengal to come to Jagannath Puri this year. Tell them not to come. E Taha Ami Jaimu Apane. Tahai milimu sab adwaitadisane. This year I shall personally go to Bengal and meet all the devotees there, headed by Shriva, uh, headed by Adwaitacharya. Shivananda Kohiya Ami E Paushamashe Achambite Abhashami Jaiba Tarapashe. Please inform Shivananda Sen that in the month of Paush, which is December and January, I shall certainly go to his home. Jagarananda Hoi Tahante Ho Bikadibe Sabare Kohiya E Vatsara Keho Na Ashibe. Jagannananda is there, and he will give me offerings of food. Inform them all that no one should come to Jagannath Puri this year. Shri Kanta Siya Gode Sandesha Kohila Shuni Bhaktagan Mane Ananda Hoila. When Shri Kant Sen returned to Bengal and delivered this message, the minds of the devotees were very pleased. Chalite Chila Charya Rohila Stirahaya Shivananda Jagananda Rohe Pratyasha Koriya Advaita Charya was just about to go to Jagannath Puri with the other devotees, but upon hearing the message, he waited. Shivananda Sen and Jagananda also stayed back, awaiting the arrival of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So Advaita Charya, Shivananda Sen, Jagananda, they got the message not to proceed to Puri. Paushamashe Aila Duhe Samagri Koriya Sanya Parjanta Rohe Apeka Koriya. When the month of Paush arrived, Jagananda and Shivananda collected all kinds of paraphernalia for the Lord's reception. Every day they would wait until evening for the Lord to come. So the Lord said not to go to Bengal or not, pardon me, not to go from Bengal to Jagannath Puri, to not to go to Jagannath Puri because this year he said he would meet with all the devotees uh, during the month of Paush. 
Hemata Masha Gela, Gosaina Ayla, Jagarananda, Shivananda, Dukite Hoyla. As a month pa as a month passed, but Mahaprabhu did not come, Jagarananda and Shivananda became most unhappy. Achambite Nishingananda Tahayla Duhe Tare Militabe Stani Bishaila Duhe Duki Deki Tabe Kohe Nishingananda Toma Duhakare Kin Kine Deki Arambita Achambite Nishing Achambite Nishingananda Tahai Aila Duhe Tare Militabe Stane Basaila Duhe Duke Dekitabe Kohe Nishingananda Toma Duhakare Kene Deke Nirananda Suddenly Nishingananda arrived and Jagananda and Shivananda arranged for him to sit near them. Seeing them both so unhappy, Nishingananda inquired, Why do I see that you are both despondent? Tabe Shivananda Tare Sakala Kohila Ashibe Ashiba Agyadila Prabhu Kenina Aila. Then Shivananda told him, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu promised that he would come. Why then has he not arrived? Shuni Brahmachari Kohe Koraha Santoshe Amita Aniba Tare Tritiya Dibase. Hearing this, Nishingananda Brahmachari replied, Please be satisfied. I assure you that I shall bring him here three days from now. Tahara Prabhava Prima Jani Dui Jane Anibe Prabhura Jay. Okay. Tahara Prabhava Prema Jane Jane Dui Jane Anibe Prabhure Ebe Nishai Koila Mane Shivananda and Jagadananda knew of Nishingananda Brahmachari's influence and love of God. It, therefore, they now felt assured that he would certainly bring Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Pradyumna Brahmachari Tara Nijanam Nishingananda Nama Tara Koila Goradam. His real name was Pradyumna Brahmachari. The name Nishingananda had been given to him by Lord Gorasunda himself. Duidin Jana Kore Shivanandere Kohila Panihate Gramiame Prabhore Anila. After meditating for two days, Nishingananda Brahmachari told Shivananda Sen, I have already brought Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to the village known as Panihati. Kali Madhyane Teho. Ashibena Tomargare Paksamagri and Anaha Ami Bikadimu Tare Kalib Madhyane Teho Ashibena Tomargare Paksamagri Anaha Ami Bikadimu Tare Tomorrow at noon he will come to your home. Therefore, please. Bring all kinds of cooking ingredients. I shall personally cook and offer him food. Tabe Tare Etami Aniba Satbar Nischai Kohilana Kichu Sandehana Kora. In this way, I shall bring him here very soon. Be assured that I am telling the truth. Do not be doubtful. Jai Johie Taha Kora Haya Tatpar Ati Tuarai Tuaraya Koriba Paha Shuna Atapar. Bring, bring all the ingredients very soon, for I want to begin cooking immediately. Please do what I say. Paka Samagriyanaha Ami Jahat Chai Jai Magila Shiva. Shivananda Ashitila Thai Pakasamagriyanaha Ami Jaha Chai Jai Magila Shivananda Ani Dila Thai The Shrinananda Brahmachari said to Shivananda, Please bring whatever cooking utensils I want. Uh, pardon me. 
Nishingananda Brahmachari said to Shivananda, please bring whatever cooking ingredients I want. Thus Shivananda Sen immediately brought whatever he asked for. Pratakala hoite pa korila par nama bhyanjana pita kira dana upahar. Beginning early in the morning, the Sringananda Brahmachari cooked many varieties of food, including vegetables, cakes, sweet rice, and other preparations. Jagannatha, Bina Boga, Pritak Bodila, Chaitanya Prabhura Lagi, Araboga Koila. After he finished cooking, he brought separate dishes for Jagannatha. Pardon me. After he finished cooking, he brought separate dishes for Jagannatha and Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Ishtadeva Nishringa, Lage Pritak Barila, Tiho Jane Samarpia, Bahire Jane Koila. He also separately offered dishes to Nishringa Dev, his worshipable deity. Thus, he divided all the food into three offerings. Then, outside the temple, he began to meditate upon the Lord. Deke Shigrashe Basila Chaitanya Gosai Tina Bog Kaila Kichu Abashishtat Nai. In his meditation, he saw Mahaprabhu quickly come, sit down, and eat all three offerings, leaving behind no remnants. Anande Bibola Pradyumna Padayashudar Ha Hakiba Kora Boli Koreye Fudkar. Pradyumnam Brahmachari was overwhelmed by a transcendental ecstasy upon seeing Chaitanya Mahaprabhu eating everything. The tears flowed from his eyes. Nevertheless, he expressed dismay, saying, Alas, alas, my dear Lord, what are you doing? You are eating everyone's food. Jagannathe Tomai An... Aikya kautara bog, nishingera boga kene kura upa jog. My dear Lord, you are one with Jagannath, therefore I have no objection to your eating his offering, but why are you touching the offering for Lord Nishingadev? Nishingera hoila jani aji upavas, takura upavase rahe jie kaichedas. I think that Nishingadev could not eat anything today, and therefore he is fasting. If the master fasts, how can the servant live? Bojana deke jajapi tara ridaye ulas. Bojana deke jajapi tara ridaye ulas. Nishinga lakya kori baye kichu kore dukabas. Although Nishinga Brahmachari felt jubilation within his heart to see Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu eating everything. For the sake of Lord Nishringadevi externally expressed disappointment. Swayam Bhagavan Krishna Chaitanya Gosai Jagannath Nishinga Saha Kichu Bedanai. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is the Supreme Personality of God himself. Therefore there is no difference between him, Lord Jagannath, and Lord Nishringadev. So Mahaprabhu came there and ate everything. And then Nishingananda Brahmachari says, okay, you ate. Uh, so he cooked, he made separate dishes of offerings for Mahaprabhu and for Lord Jagannath, and then another separate dish for Nishringadev, and he's worshiping Lord Nishringa. So then Mahaprabhu came there in his meditation and ate all three plates. Everything on the three plates left nothing. So then Pradyumna, uh, or who's known as Nishringa, Nishringa Brahmachari, he's upset because he says, okay, Mahaprabhu ate his own plate and that of uh, Lord Jagannath, and they're non-different, so that's that's fine. But why did he eat Nishingadev's plate? 
Uh, my dear Lord, you are one with Jagannath, therefore I have no objection to your eating his offering. But why are you touching the offering for Lord Nishingadev? Nishingara hoyla jani aji upavas takura upavase rohe jie kaichedash. I think that Nishingadev could not eat anything today, and therefore he is fasting. If the master fasts, how can the servant live? Bojana deki jajapi tara ridoye ulas. Nishringalakya kore baye kichu kore dukabas. Although Nishringananda, although Nishringa Brahmachari felt jubilation within his heart to see Mahaprabhu eating everything for the sake of Lord Nishringadev, he externally expressed disappointment. Svayam Bhagavan Krishna Chaitanya Gosai Jagannath Nishringa Saha Kichu Bedanai. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is the Supreme Personality of God in Himself. Therefore, there is no difference between Him, Lord Jagannath, and Lord Nishingadev. Iha Janibari Pradyumner Guda Hoitaman Taha Dekaila Prabhu Koriya Bojan. Pradyumna Brahmachari was deeply eager to understand this fact. Therefore, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu revealed to him revealed it to him by a practical demonstration. Bhojana Koriya Prabhu Gela Panihati Santosha Pailadeki Ganjana Paripati. After reading all the offerings, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu started for Panihati. There he was greatly satisfied to see the different varieties of vegetables prepared in the house of Raghava. So Pradyumna Brahmachari was, so here it mentions, Mahaprabhu is the Supreme Lord himself, therefore there is no difference between him, Lord Jagannath, and Lord Nishingadev. Pradyumna Brahmachari was deeply eager to understand this fact, therefore Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu revealed it to him by a practical demonstration, by eating all the three plates. Everything, eating everything on the three plates, he also ate Nishingadev's offering and therefore showed to uh, Nishinga Brahmachari that he's non-different from, um, from Nishingadev also. But here's the point, the people that the people had been, let's see who, Srikant Sen had gone to Jagannath Puri. He came back and he told the devotees, this year don't go to, don't go to um, Jagannath Puri because the Lord will come here during the month of Paush, which is uh, around December, I believe. So when that month came and went, they were upset. Mahaprabhu said he was coming. Why he hasn't come? So then they, Nishinga, Nishringa Brahmachari came there and he saw them all, all sad. So he said, what's the problem? And they told him, well, Mahaprabhu was supposed to come and he hasn't come. He said, all right, I'll bring him here myself. So then he began meditating and he said, okay, Mahaprabhu has come as far as Panihati and he'll be here. So now I have to start cooking and arranging everything. So then he cooked and then he made those three plates, one for Mahaprabhu, one for Jagannath, and one for his deity. He's a worshiper of Nishingadev. Then Mahaprabhu came there and ate everything. Then, but not everyone can see this. So Pradyumna Brahmachari was deeply eager to understand the fact that Mahaprabhu is non different from Nishingadev. Bhojana Koriya Prabhu Gela Panihati Santosha Pailadeki Bhyanjana Paripati. After eating all the offerings, Mahaprabhu started for Panihati. There he was greatly satisfied to see the different varieties of vegetables prepared in the house of Raghava. So, so Mahaprabhu is always in his Avirbhav feature, not always seen by others, but he's always one of the four places is in the house of Raghava Pandit who lives near Panihati. So the four places are bef when Mother Sachi is offering, offering food to Nimai, where Lord Nityananda is dancing, 
uh, in Shriva Sangam, in the house of Shriva Stakur, where the devotees are doing kirtan, and also in the house of Raghava Pandit. Raghava Pandit does very beautiful deity worship, and Mahaprabhu is always in those, always goes in those four places in his Avirbhav feature. Not everyone can see him, but he's always there. So when we go in Parikrama, we always go to Shriva Sangam also. It's on the first day when we're going through Mayapur. So this is, and the same, but Mahaprabhu also showed himself in the Avirbhav feature to, uh, to Nishringa Brahmachari. So, Shivananda kohe kene goraha futkar teho kohe deka tomar prabhura byabahar. Shivananda said to Nishringananda, why are you expressing dismay? Nishringananda replied, just see the behavior of your Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Just, just see the Lord's behavior. This has got me upset. Then, Tina Janar Bogateho Ekela Koila Jagananas Nishringa Upa Vase Hoila. He alone has eaten offerings for all three deities. Because of this, both Jagannatha and Nishringa Dev remain fasting. He's eaten everything. So not everyone can see this, and they're 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 kind of like, what? And Pradun but Pradumna Brahmachari is also called Nishinga Brahmachari. He said, Mahaprabhu came here and he ate everyone, everything. Shuni Shivananda Chite Hoila Samshai Kiba Prima Veshe Kohe Kiba Satya Hoi. When Shivananda Sen heard this statement, he was unsure whether Nishringananda Brahmachari was speaking that way because of ecstatic love or because it was actually a fact. Tabe Shivananda Kichu Kohe Brahmachari Samagri Ana Nishinga Lagi Puna Paka. Kori, when Shivananda Sen was thus perplexed, Nishringananda Brahmachari said to him, Bring more food. Let me cook again for Lord, Nishring, for Lord Nishringadev. So before the author, well, Krishna Das Kaviraj, he says, Mahaprabhu is delivering the whole world, and he does it through three ways. One is Sakshat, where he personally meets with somebody and he empowers that person and that power person goes back and converts everyone, also brings everyone to Krishna consciousness. So that's called Sakshat, directly meeting with the Lord. Then there's called Shaktyavesh. When he empowers somebody, he empowers somebody from within and that person acts like, uh, like the Lord Himself. That's called Shaktavesh. And we heard that um, that uh, Srila Bhakti Rakak Sridhar Dev Goswami Mars, he said that Bhakti Vedanta Swami Prabhupada was empowered like that, Shaktavesh, to uh, spread Krishna consciousness, he said, like it was water. So what he did was not possible by an ordinary person. He said that. Uh, Prabhupada was able to do that because he was empowered. So that's the second form, Shaktivesha. And the third form is what was being mentioned what is being mentioned here is Avirbhav. When the Lord appears, when the Lord appears just as he appears before Mother Sachi or or Nityananda or or also thank you. Before Nityananda or in the house of Raghava Pandit or also in Sriva Sangam. So, uh, Nishringananda Brahmachari, he brought the Lord there, and the Lord ate the three plates. But then Shivananda, Shivananda Sen, he's like really wondering, did this really happen? Did this really happen, or is this just Nishringa Brahmachari's ecstasy? When Shivananda Sen was thus perplexed, Nishringananda Brahmachari said to him, Bring more food, let me cook again for Lord Nishringadev. Tabe Shivananda Bhog Samagriyanila Pakkore Nishingara Bhoga Lagaila. Then Shivananda Sen again brought the ingredients with which to cook, and Pradyumna Brahmachari again cooked and offered the food to Nishingadev. Varshantari Shivananda Loya Bhaktagan Nila Chali Deki Jana Prabhura Charan. The next year Shivananda went to Jagannath Puri, 
with all the other devotees to see the lotus feet of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Egdin Savate Prabhu Bhatta Chalaila Nishinganandera Guna Kahite Lagila. One day in the presence of all the devotees, the Lord uh, raised these topics con concerning Nishinganda Brahmachari and praised his transcendental qualities. Gatavarsha Poshe Mor More Ghoraila Bojan Kabunahi Kai Aiche Mishtana Bhyanjan. The Lord said, Last year in the month of Paush, when the Sringananda gave me varieties of sweetmeats and vegetables to eat, they were so good that I felt I had never before eaten such preparations. So there, now there's confirmation because they, they were wondering if this really happened because not everyone can see the Lord when he appears in his Avirbhav feature. And, but, Nishingananda said, oh, he's eaten everything. I don't know what to do. Now I have to cook again. So then, then they're wondering, did this really happen? But when they went the next year to, to Jagannathpur to see Mahaprabhu, he praised Nishingananda Brahmachari and he said, last year in the month of Paus, which was when this happened, when Nishingananda gave me varieties of sweetmeats and vegetables to eat, they were so good that I felt I had never before eaten such preparations. Shuni bhakta gana mane ascharya manila, shivanandar mane tabe pratyaya janmila. Hearing this, all the devotees were struck with wonder, and Shivananda became confident that the incident was true. Emata sachi grihe satata bhujan, srivasara grihe konan kirtana darshan. In this way, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu used to eat at the temple of Sachimat every day and also visit the house of Srivas Thakur where Kirtan was performed. Nityanandar Nitya Dek Dekin Ashi Bare Bare Nirantara Virbha Raghavera Gare. Similarly, he was always present when, when Nityananda Prabhu danced and he regularly appeared at the house of Raghava. Premabhasha Gora Prabhu Jaha Premol Premotam, Premavasa, Hoyataha, Dena Darshan. Lord Gorasundar is greatly influenced by the love of his devotees. Therefore, wherever there is pure devotion to the Lord, the Lord himself, subdued by such love, appears and his devotees see him. Shivanandar, Premasima, Ke Kohite Pare, Jara Premi Basa Prabhu, Aishe Bare Bare. Influenced by the loving affairs of Shivananda Sen, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came again and again. Therefore, who can estimate the limits of his love? Eta kohilu gorera avirbhav, iha shuni jane Chaitanya prabhav. Thus I have described the appearance of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Anyone who hears about these incidents can understand the transcendental opulence, opulence of the Lord. So tomorrow will come the second part of this chapter, which will describe the chastisement of Junior Haridas or Chota Haridas. So tomorrow we'll continue. Is there any significance in knowing Mishringa's other name? Pardon me? Well, he's called, his, his name is Pradyumna Brahmachari, but because he is so much devoted to Lord Nishringadev, he is also called Nishringa, Nishringa Brahmachari or Nishringananda Brahmachari. That's, most of the devotees know him as Nishringananda Brahmachari. No, it's okay. Hari Harai Nama Krishna Jadavaya Nama Hari Harai Nama Krishna Jadavaya Nama Jadavaya Madhavaya Keshavaya Nama Vaya Madhavaya Gopa Govinda Ram Simadu Sudan Giridari Gopinatha Maranahman Sri Shaitanya Nid 
ಜನಾಂಗ ಶ್ರೀ ಅದ್ವೈತ ಚಂದ್ರ ಗರಡಾರ ಶಿವ ಸರಿ ಗೌರ ಮಕ್ಕ ಮೀನ ರೂಪ ಸನತ ಭಕ್ತ ರಾಘುನ ಶ್ರೀಜಿವಾಗೋ ಭಾವ ಭಾತ ದಾಸ ರಾಘುನ ಪರಿಕರ ಶ್ರೀ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರು ಗುರಂಗ ಧಾರ್ಮಿಕ ಗಿರಿಧಾರಿ ಜೀವ್ ಕಿ ಜಾಯ್ 
Jaya Om Vishnu Pant Panamansa Parabhajaka Chariyashta Tadra Sadrasi Shimad Srila Bhakti Sunda Govinda Dev Gosami Manas Ki Jaya Jaya Om Vishnu Pant Panamansa Parabhajaka Chariyashta Tadra Sadrasi Shimad Srila Bhakti Rakak Srila Dev Gosami Manas Ki Jaya Jaya Bhagavan Srila Bhakti Sunanta Saraswati Gosami Takur Ki Jaya Jai Om Vishnu Pad Shri Lagor Kishore Das Babaji Maharaj Ki Jai Jai Om Vishnu Pad Shri Lasachida Nanda Bhakti Vinod Thakur Ki Jai Jai Om Vishnu Pad Vaishnava Sarva Bhoma Shri Lajaganath Das Babaji Maharaj Ki Jai Rupa Nuga Guru Bhargha Ki Jai Namachari Shri Laharidas Sakur Ki Jai Shri Rupa Sanatana Bhatta Raghunath Shri Jeeva Gopal Bhatta Dasha Raghunath Shad Goswami Prabhu Ki Jai Premzigo Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadanhar Shri Vasani Shri Gaurabhakta Vrindha Ki Jai Shri La Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami Prabhu Ki Jai Shri Chaitanya Charitamrita Ki Jai Shri La Vrindavan Das Sakur Ki Jai Shri Chaitanya Bhagavad Ki Jai Naratam Shrinivas Shamananda Prabhu Ki Jai Jai Om Vishnupad Vishvabharanya Srila Bhakti Vedanta Swami Maharaj Prabhupada Ki Jai Jai Om Vishnupad Srila Bhakti Nirmal Acharya Maharaj Ki Jai Ananta Koti Vaishnavrinda Ki Jai Shri Navadip Dham Ki Jai Shri Dhammayapur Ki Jai Saparshita Shri Nityananda Prabhu Ki Jai Saparshita Shri Mahaprabhu Ki Jai Shri Koladvip Ki Jai Shri Chaitanya Saraswat Mat Ki Jai Sokel Shri Chaitanya Saraswat Sevashram Ki Jai Shri Chaitanya Saraswat Manacharya Vrinda Ki Jai Ganga Devi Ki Jai Tulasi Maharani Ki Jai Bhakti Devi Ki Jai Shri Vrinda Madam Ki Jai Shri Shri Radha Krishna Go Gopi Govardhan Shyam Kuna Radha Kunda Kalindi Yamuna Jo Ki Jai Sama Veda Bhakta Vrinda Ki Jai Shri Harinam Sankirtan Ki Jai All the Assembled Devotees Ki Jai Gaur Premanande Hari Hari Gaur